Hey guys, Sam Beast here. Another day from the of the night of NBA playoffs, and right now, game three. It's the OKC Thunders taking on against the Utah Jazz at Utah. This time, the rematch is about to be starting as OKC makes a win in Game Two and tied the series one to one. By that, by that moment, this won't be happening to be our effect with our ability, but there might be more to come. So with that, let's get this game and see how it goes. This time I have the city uniforms on Four years and ago, ready to go. On April 13th, Kobe Bryant played in his last NBA game. To memorialize his final NBA performance, the latest My Team Career Highlights card is a pink diamond Kobe Bryant, free and guaranteed for all NBA 2K20 players. To accompany this release is a brand new Spotlight Challenge set. Featuring Have you guys got Kobe? Games Maybe I forgot to do it. This card. Yes, you will need to score 81 points with the Mamba, drain 12 threes in the game, and of course, you guys got one of the comment down below. Point game that happened just four years ago. Make sure you grab a uh, Kobe Bryant by a card, and this won't be happening to the ability if you guys have one here. Anyways, let's get the game in, and we are at Vivid Smart Home Arena. Thanks for the uh, Star Spangled Banner part of the National Anthem. We got some great games showing you between Shake and Gorgeous Alexander and Rudy Gobert in the starting key lineup. But let's start with the pregame show. All right, here we go, sports fans. Tonight, it'll be the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And for Utah, win this game, and they leave with the seventh best record in the NBA. A little added motivation for them, you know, if they need it. With a few teams out there competing for those last playoff spots, Shaq, what needs to be done to make the final cut? Well, you're not going to make many changes to your team at this point. You kind of know who you are. You either are or you are not. What you can do is try to play to your strengths. The concentration, the effort, the energy, that's where you're going to separate yourself as a contender. I'm letting you know you got to finish strong right now. And with that, just about time for tip. It's about to be time to tip it off. We're about to be ready to get things going here at Utah. Yep, it's going to be pretty exciting so far. And we got you here. Game three, we are ready to go here at the Western Conference Championship game. For most of all, it's round one, and that's going to be home for Western Conference Championship. Right now, let's hear it from DA. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. Quinn Snyder, he is totally a one worth it to make a killer to do that again. Here's Mo John Bogdanovich, only 18.0 this year by 2019 to 20 in points. Uh, he was out right now unless the whole team of the regular season are done. In 2019 2020. By that moment, they'll be back here and in uh, by the time of 2020 to 21. And right now we have a key matchup. Rudy Gobert against Steven Adams are the key matchup for this lineups. For that being said, this is a game where it gets tough in game three. Thanks for the city uh, home court arena for the Utah Jazz. They're always making a fumble. Okay, C wins the tip off here, and we are underway here at Utah. Donovan on the final year of his deal. Putting a stop on him. Rudy Gobert will take the first rebound. Here's Conley. You know, I don't care if uh, if Chris Paul if he, if Chris Paul wins the game, and he's finding himself uh, looking for James Harden. 
and Russell Westbrook here in Utah. There's a foul going to be called on Rudy Gobert, his first personal foul. Gallinari, uh, I'm sure Gallinari's all right to do uh, what he wants to be doing. And for Gallinari, he's been playing here so far since about last season when he played with the, uh, the L.A. Clippers. He knows that everything gets really well done. So for that time, it won't be happening to hurt your feelings. Rudy Gobert has his first personal foul, their first team foul, and Gallinari shooting two. The first one falls in for Gallinari. And guys, uh, Gallinari is always, uh, he's, he's been playing so far, as I just mentioned to him, that one of his kind of a uh, player that, that he's with uh, showing the Gojics Alexander, but to the players. They decided decide that they want to help out the so OKC by Chris Paul. So this time, they wanted to see what they're doing and and they wanted to help them out too. Conley, against Paul, finds Gobert. Gobert trying to look for Mitchell. Mitchell going in. Blocked by Steven Adams and turned away. It's three on three on the fast break. Goes on to Gordich Alexander. And it's got and it's, got, and it's Bogdanovich with uh, with a tough defensive. Now here is O'Neal. He's tightly guarded. O'Neal finds Gobert. With under six minutes to go. Only 2-0 to o is your score after a two free throw for uh, Gallinari. And the first shot will be Donovan Mitchell. Even showing the touch from mid-range. Gallinari trying to get him out of the way. Gallinari didn't see that one coming as Shanky Gojic Alexander also got a point too. This is happening back at, uh, back at OKC after they put a win in game two. By the, by the moments of being said, this was happening before. Nothing will ever come possible at all. Adams with a great set, great setup and a shot. What a nice layup, and uh, he's finally got a two. That's a breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Well, you can't find out out if you find a big scores here. Now Chris Paul against Conley. Gobert. Conley makes a shot and an assist goes up by Gobert. Five minutes to play here in the first quarter. Paul against Mike Conley. He passes to Gallinari. Nope, I need something else. Paul, Kalinari, the George Alexander, and right next to the sideline, he makes a shot. Gallinari will take another two-pointer from here. Gallinari didn't seem to impress about uh, should he go to Alexander, but when he first started his uh, game since 2017, he know he played at, oh wait, he first got drafted in 2015. I don't know if, it, if it's real. Do we know about so the close to Alexander uh, getting drafted in uh, 2015? We don't know. Dort finds Chris Paul. Adams trying to free himself up. A rebounding by Adams. Adams! Gallinari passed to Dort. As the Gilgogic Alexander. Alexander. They're going to have to look for a shot. It opened. Gallinari against Bogdanovich. It's a three. Dork makes one in, and the clutch is released. Selfish play by Gallinari, a natural born score. Jazz trailing by. Jazz trailing by seven. Blocked the pass by Chris Paul. And yes, Chris Paul, he was on the uh, state. He was on a commercial on State Farm. If you are, if you're looking for a State Farm, make sure you find him right away. That's what you got to know him. And Gobert with the saving rebound by that time. Swiss watch uh, since 1853. That's almost like 100 years. That's what, um, over 100 years ago. Door looking for a shot. Three pointer off the line. And no assist by Paul. Passes to O'Neal. He passed back to Conley. 
and they call it. And there is a legal screen and offensive foul on Gobert. That's his second personal foul. Field goal percentage, seventh in blocks. And by that time, they are having trouble that time, and Thunder is going to have to call the timeout here. And we're going to have to like replay the screen. Yes, let's find out what happens here. All right, let's watch that again. So what you call here is Rudy Gobert, and and when that and when that ball comes up by Mike Conley, you've seen that time, and this was happening before. When Bogdanovich or uh, Mitchell was coming in, and yes, there is a screen going on here, and yes, that was the foul called on Rudy Gobert. Once Bogdanovich is trying to uh, call the call the amazing turnovers here, they're just like, what is happening right now at that moment? So one, two, knocked it out. Oh, and yes, he did slip that time. So Shane and Gorgix Alexander would say. Saying, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you putting so many too much screens here? Double screen doesn't work. It is it's kind of illegal if you put it up here. Only one player has a screen, and this might be a tough change on each offense to defense. That's what was happening before. And yes, Gobert was just like getting a little bit depressed that time. Saying, what did I just do? What did I just do? It was it was definitely not me. Well, uh, only the face just never got a chance to get here. Man, go bear not having some tough times already. But right now, uh, we just go. We're just gonna come back here right at that point. Uh, I'll sub out Dort and Ferguson. I'll sub it in. And let's go for four or one active here. So that's your replay. Uh, brought to you by Kia. So here's Schroeder, or uh, here's Schroeder. Yep. Schroeder passes the yellow. Diallo finds Muscala. Muscala right away from McDonovich. So great pass here, and with that shot, you move it out of the way, and you go from the side. You find something that's real. And yes, Mike Muscala will take his first point for the bucket. As two. Jazz trailing by seven. Boudier against Schroeder. Schroeder! Gonna have to try to make something up here. Never made it that far. But as a point Shooter trying to put a cover on Moutier. Final four Pierce. Here's McDonovich. McDonovich missed the shot. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City leading by seven. Muscala in the corner finds Noel. Oh, Noel passes to Ferguson. Passes to Mugdiallo. Five to shoot. Schroeder. Schroeder going for three. Long range, no good. Clarkson will try it. There's the first pointer for Clarkson. Make him score. We'll just only have a let him get one shot at the point. Nobody else can get there in time, but they always have tough times on rebounds. Noel Diallo to Schroeder. Schroeder, Ferguson, bounce pass to Noel. Puts it up, from Puts it up. Misses, misses it from the free throw line. Jazz trailing by five. And Bogdanovich will take the two pointer, assist by uh, Clarkson. Diallo, he finds Schroeder. And there's Davis with the block. Ingles going in. Uh, the shot won't go in for Ingles. He first missed it. That's after a loss against OKC in game two. Here's Muscala. He finds Ferguson. 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. Schroeder looking for a man open. I need to fix it. Three seconds to two, one. Schroeder makes that two. Diallo, I'm, oh Diallo, I'm sorry. So Diallo makes a two before the shot clock expired. And now they're going up by five points behind the Jazz. In front of the Jazz. Moutier against Schroeder. Moutier against Schroeder. 
Moutier with a roll around and the shot will go up, count it in. Schroeder looking out of here. 10 seconds. Muscala. Great pass and Muscala will take another point. Thunders are leading by five here. Four seconds. Clarkson for the buzz beater. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. OKC Thunders takes a lead 17 to 12. From there, it will never happen about Steven Adams with the rejection and Ed Davis with the rejection on the other hand. We'll be right back in the second quarter. Ups and downs with injuries and early on in my career not being able to be consistent enough to be considered a top guard in the league and making myself work that much harder to get my game to a level where I feel that I can compete against anybody in the league and that's what I'm most proud of is just being able to withstand that. Great work ethic is the key. Conley so we start off the second and quarter and let's find out what will happen here. So only Ed Davis and Adams with a, with a rejection that time. Let's find out. Oh, Noel! Oh, not that time. Only one with a block by OKC. And with a mess. Ferguson, Noel. Yeah, that's what you do from here. Noel missed that shot, but Davis trying to put a revenge on him. He definitely got saved that time. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Davis, Davis passes the Ingles. That's the group for Utah. Shooter right to the side. Rolling back from the outside. Still looking for his first Still looking for a bucket of the game for each player. Moutier shot no good for a three-pointer. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. Noel passes to Ferguson. Ferguson will use the glass board to pull it up in the pull it up on the point. Ferguson's got two points. Only tough contestant will allow. Here in the second quarter with uh, a little over a minute gone. 19 to 12. For the Thunder fans. The Thunder fans are looking for themselves to go to the second round, but it might be too late to look for it. Oh, that was Muscala. Oh, with a rejection. Not that time. Muscala to, to um, Ingles. Say, I have that flow. And for Muscala, for four points. Utah Jazz will call timeout here with 5.39 to go. We just got to get started back here in game three. But game four, it won't be happening until now. I stepped in, I'll uh, show you Logix Alexander and, of course, Dial 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 Gallinari. Gallinari. Dort, Adams, and Paul are back in with a starting five. Screen on Gobert. He finds it. Finds a shot. Conley will take another two. Look. Field goal of the data. 50% for Thunder and 37 for the Jazz. The Here's the Gallinari by after the pass. With deep. Handling in the deep throw won't count for Dort. O'Neal. He missed it again. Oh, uh, not that time. Donovan Mitchell with the saving rebound. Okay. Donovan Mitchell wasn't sure he was ready for the NBA. Mitchell said, I worked out in the summer with Paul George and Chris Paul. They were the ones who convinced me to keep my name in the draft. They said, look, you're good enough. Just go out there and show it. Kevin, through a couple of seasons in Utah, that's exactly what Mitchell has done. He has made, he has made so much far back in 2017 for Donovan Mitchell. Thank you. Showed you Gildix Alexander almost put up a goaltending. But there's no goaltending in Game 3, so what the heck happened? No shots made for uh, for Gobert, Adams, and a dunk for the Gorgix Alexander. So great pass here for Adams and Alexander with only two, and you definitely get it that time. Very good. Mitchell against the Gorgix Alexander. Mitchell, Mitchell looking for an open man. Ingles with the screen look. 
Conley against Paul. Conley looking for a man. Opening. Six on the shot. Five to shoot. Knocked away by Rudy Gobert's hand, and Steven Adams whopped it out of here. Ooh, Paul had to recover. Almost took it out of way that time. Well, never turn over was being called. Adams to Dort. Paul rolling up in. Good, good, uh, good play. Good play blitz, but no shot made for Chris Paul. He, he has to work it harder enough here. Yeah, Paul. Keep it going. Don't let it stop you. Gobert against Adams. Gobert away. Adams has his first foul called on on OKC. And Gobert will go to the line for two. That was like a, a biggest worst side yet. You just can't call it after the first quarter was ended. The Gobert seems to put a lot of man manage, managing to have a, to have a better shot at that time, making the adjustment on D. Try to what call which man do you have. Gobert throwing to shoot for two. Stop the clock at 3:05. Two shots. And yes, all the Utah fans are missing Ricky Rubio after he was traded with uh, after he's traded with the uh, the Jazz to the Phoenix Sun with Devin Booker and the the Andre Ayton. That's on. For in that case, it won't be that much hard difficult. Moments will come, but they'll be finding more pretty soon. <clears throat> Rudy Gobert sinks two in, and they are it's pulling up away and behind. Nine foot seven inches. He's around the rim. Paul passes to Adams. Yes, Adams picks it off to Gallinari. Gallinari to Paul. Back to Gallinari. Power Ingles. Ingles will take the first free, first rebound. And now here's Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell used the. This is the left foot to put in the uh, paint. Gets better and better off the bounce. Gilgore's shot in. Dort. Screen on Gallinari. Oh, he goes back to Gilgore's Alexander. And up the point, and it goes in. Gilgore's Alexander has a number point. Oh man, I'm getting hot here. But if I play NBA, uh, if I play basketball, I will be sweaty. Conley against Paul, but Jazz will have to call it as Coach Quinn Snyder calls timeout. So they're going to have to map. They're going to have to uh, guide some notes. You're going to have to guide some notes here while uh, while they're still on the break. Only one switch here for Dort, and we have his uh, and we have his uh, Ferguson. And Gobert passed to O'Neal to Conley. Ball on the cover. Try to block the pass out of the way, but only one did allow him. We are down to two minutes. Oh, took the outside as Mitchell has a number three. Yeah, Ferguson, I did have it subbed in after I subbed out uh, Dort. Great stop here, Steven Adams, with an avoiding defender by Gobert, and that will be assist by Chris Paul. Mitchell passes the Ingles. Gallinari on the cover. Back pass to Mitchell. And over to Gorgix Alexander, no good. Gallinari passes to Gilgorgix Alexander. Adams will take the screen. Oh, didn't have that time. Gallinari moving the ball back around to Ferguson. 
Ferguson misses. Ferguson misses. Not another rebounding chance ever, but it's too much to call. Oh! Reverse layup is good for Mitchell. Gallinari will have first personal foul called on OKC. Watch what one more time here, Donovan Mitchell, as Mike Conley has a pass. And one more look here. You didn't see that block, and it was definitely a tough call. Tough call has handled that so far, and a fast break has pulled up two points. One shot for Donovan Mitchell. Jordan Clarkson comes in for O'Neal. Emmanuel Moody has some substitutions here. Clarkson, Moody, and Davis. Free throw, Free throw drops, drops it in. And, already over and they the are game close under by one. He never got past the numbers game. He passes up to Paul. Pass to Adams. Western Conference, but make no mistake about it. Conley is star caliber. Now here's Adams. Here's Paul. Paul, no good on the on the drive. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. Fifth rebound for Gobert this time. Three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Mitchell looking at And we have a chance for let's go go Jazz go. Ferguson try to uh, try to hold it up. Ferguson kicks to Gallinari. Five seconds. They're going to have to look for it. Steven Adams, and he was able to put the buzz beater on, but it won't count. So that's it for first half, 27 to 26 is your score. And now we'll send it over to David Aldrich on the sideline. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with head coach Quinn Snyder. Coach, what adjustments are you going to do in the second half? Just gotta keep playing, keep taking the shots. And that's not the issue as much as us uh, not executing on offense. When we don't score sometimes, our defense lags as well. Everybody wants to see the ball go in the basket first, right? Thanks, coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thanks, David. Be back in the second half after this. We'd like you guys to welcome back to the Utah of Salt Lake City. So far as Donovan Mitchell has got a streaking point, made a reverse layup, and made the basket after the foul piece was being called on OKC as Gallinari had his first personal foul. But now, second half, all zero fouls are pulling up, and, and, and they are restarting it for the second half. So no foul now called yet, so uh, we're still good. But right now, let's have a look at the second half and see what we got. Mitchell against Gilgorjic's Alexander. Oh, trying to put a jump ball. They want to take a look at it first. And with Donovan Mitchell, a number two pointer. He had his first lead tonight. Donovan Mitchell is trying to become one of them. Paul looks for Dort. Dort finds Adams. Adams to Paul. Paul dishes to Gallinari. Gallinari. Three pointer no good. Get out of my way. A rejection by Paul, and that'll be a first block for tonight. After Stephen Adams had took it out of the way, Chris Paul, a great shot, and out of your mind. Paul has his first two points of the night over McDonavich. That's what the tough move's about. Only one rebound and one assist, but he's got to put it up again. Conley, nobody left around here. He took the fade away, and he made that in. Well, we haven't seen that point so far. That was crazy. The defense paid for disrespecting him. Gallinari to Dort. Right over to Gilgorjic Alexander. To the paint. Over to paint. No good. Needs to be a bounce pass. To the inside. Mitchell. Bogdanovich dishes to Mitchell. And another miss by Donovan Mitchell as Utah Jazz couldn't handle the lead. Wait, they still have a lead, not another point. That one is off target here, and another missed opportunity for Steven Adams. O'Neal finds Conley. Conley the pass to McDonovich. Gallinari with the handle. Tipped away. Tipped away. Gallinari had a chance to steal. 
and he got it anyway. Adams, right side. Passes Adams finds Gorgic's Alexander. Three pointer. Three pointer. And a swish has made in. Chris Paul is back in. Stay on Chris Paul. He has a six five should be Gorgic's Alexander. He's definitely having some good time old Cubs. With the so they have. So after the, after the follow up by Chris Paul, the OKC Funders pick up the lead. Adams against Gobert. Gobert with the follow up layup, no good. Taking the other way, and here's Dort. Finds Gilanari. Three pointer. Wide open, no good. Suddenly went slightly late. Two of six from the field. Oh, I'm not going to mind a seal that time. I only made it once. Sinks the triple. Sinks the triple. That is Royce O'Neal. Timeout by OKC. They're certainly going to have to like to keep this thing in mind, and they definitely need to put it back in. So with that, uh, Royce Alexander or seven eight out, and I will bring Diallo and Chris Paul back to Schroeder, and I'm going to have to find another way to get there. Anyway, let's just. Let's just go with Philly Elbow. Well, nobody's going to know what the Philly Elbow will look like, but I'm just like, mm, why not? There's, there's a lot of choices that are coming. Their time is 7.43 p.m. in Utah. That's two hours ahead from... That's two hours backward. We were way ahead than, uh, than the Mountain Regional time. <clears throat> so I subbed out Chris Paul and Shaggy goes Alexander, Diallo and Schroeder are checked in with the, an OKC. And here's Muscala, he's back in right now after the pointer, only had four points that time, and D Diallo with a better, uh, better quality of time. Pass to Noel. Dennis Schroeder will take a number two, and he has his first two pointer. Good pass to Noel, right about right at the glass board, again away by Conley, and that's the first two bucket for tonight. Utah and OKC are tied up. Four, three forty-five again, remaining. Noel didn't see that one coming, and they missed a uh, missed a missed a swipe ball away. Muscala finds Schroeder. Rebound. Muscala for three. Rebounded by Gobert, and no good with that time for for the OKC Funders. Bogdanovich put the number point in. And now a four-point jazz lead. Four-point jazz lead for, for Utah. Just 3 oh, 3 to go. Oh, he would have had that shot. Oh, but he, well, he got lucky that time. Dealing now, though, Gallinari had a number two. And a finish for Gallinari at throwing up the point at a tight corner. Utah Chaz taking timeout, guided the notes again. They're gonna have to, uh, they're gonna have to fix some, uh, some uh, notes on the court. Now for Utah, they're changing it up. Ed Davis is on the court. Joe Ingles comes in for Royce O'Neal. Joe Ingles comes in for Royce O'Neal. Clarkson. Clarkson did not that, didn't get that shot, and two neither of each players didn't have an open shot. Joe Gorgeous Alexander miss. Royce O'Neal miss. Nothing that time. They couldn't put up the momentum. Noel count the basket. Eddie, Emmanuel Moutier will go for the first foul. Watch that one more time. Great pass from Muscala and with Noel. And he says, beat that by the crowd of the uh, chanted site of notes. Take the notes if you have here. And Noel says, nope, only one will take. Take notes by each lesson. 
and Jazz isn't the only play players that they played. This happened a long time ago when the Utah Jazz uh, first uh, came out by name. The, uh, since the Jazz band came into Salt Lake City. And that's what I did notice about here that time. This is what the first one was calling for. Clarkson only has uh, another pointer here. Diallo. Behind Gallinari. Diallo for three. And it's off. And Ingles. Pulling up again. Moutier. Didn't count that again. And he had another, another failure at that time. Noel passes to Diallo. Nice pass by Noel, and Diallo makes the shot. They are swapping in and out. 140 to play here, 41 to 40, and we got a battle between between uh, OKC and Utah Jazz in, uh, I don't know what they call it for. Noel, after a follow-up by Noel, shooter! A four-pointer is good. Three-point Oklahoma City pointing up again. And Schroeder is back in. Not to, say, not, to the, not to be mistaken by Chris Paul. Well, he's fine with that. But Schroeder, he's here to, uh, to support it out. Moutier finds it. And here's a shot. Moutier just ties it up to stop and hold the break. Gallinari finds Muscala. Muscala with the shot, and that's good. One more look. Yep, Muscala trying to avoid Bogdanovich and uh, Moutier Clarkson. 50 seconds to go. 45 to 43. Davis against Noel. Davis didn't have the number two pointer, but he has to get there. Bogdanovich up. And Muscala send it back away. Situation, trying to get a two for one. Absolutely. And Diallo had another pointer in. So after that rejection from Muscala, this wasn't just happening again. Only few players did got a chance to uh, block the ball away. It was Steven Adams, Mike Muscala, Diallo, no, I mean Noel, and Chris Paul. But no other players never reject that time. Rebound it by Muscala. Just 15 seconds to play. Trying to get away from Muscala. I mean, Ingles. Diallo to Schroeder. Schroeder passes to Noel. Schroeder for three. The setback is no good, and that ends the third quarter. OKC with a leading, flopping point, 47 to 43. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter, and we are almost done from here. If OKC takes the lead, then they got a problem for Utah. Here's Billy Donovan. Okay, listen, let's just stay it now. Let's put our foot down with more discipline and more focus right now, okay? All right, stay down, communicate, and talk right now. Billy Donovan trying to get things up a bit after Quinn Snyder with a with a, another career for a season. He's definitely not showing. He's not too hot to to play with that game, but it's definitely quite too often to look for Billy Donovan by the head coach. We got on here so far, and Stephen Adams is back on the court. We wish him to welcome back. Ferguson fade away, no good. As there's a, as there's some solid D here for Utah. Conley against Schroeder finds McDonald. Oh, Noel with two blocks in a row. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, gorgeous Alexander. Pass by Schroeder. One, two, bam. Great move for Gilgoric Alexander, and he has 10 points. Get out of here. I don't want to see anything cover. Only another rebound, and the foul will go on to Gilgoric Alexander, his first personal foul. So with that being said, only, uh, only uh, Noel had that block, and Steven Adams with a rejection, Chris Paul, and Muscala. Only Billy Dolovan 
Donovan try to put up a win. And now Rudy Gobert will take two shots after the foul was being called on the Gorgeous Alexander, their first team foul for OKC. He's off on the he didn't game. get that first one in, so he missed. The spotlight, and Chris Paul will sub out then a shooter. The and he's NBA. fine right now. He's, he's doing really well. Only three trust. points. That means every and uh, he's coming in to a support back right back now. To the team. One and shot to go. Making a switch from Gobert. Here. Paul's checked in. <clears throat> Second from Gobert from missed two. What the heck? You were talking about the real oh, here we go. Nice long pass for Steven Adams. Great, great pass. Nice long pass. Fine Chris Paul. What a shot. And yes, yeah, Steven Adams still had no choice to make there, so he decides to go along with the pass. And he has it anyway. Of course, Alexander against Clarkson. He passes to Bogdanovich. Here's a shot. Only two made that in for McDonovich. The determination that First half and second half, only 12 points, 12 to 29 for OKC Funders. Now here's Paul. But only one behind for Jazz. Alexander, here's Paul. Paul misses again. Ingles with another rebound. Alone. Uh, Chris Paul doesn't have anything to say, but he when he leaves and he leaves him off silent. Paul outside. Paul to Adams. Adams finds Gorgeous Alexander. Ferguson with the two. And there's the two pointer. No, three. Okay, I guess he did make the three. Under five minutes, Gorgeous Alexander against Clarkson. Now here's Clarkson for three. Adams fighting for it, and Bogdanovich with the save. Noel with the cover, and another miss for Utah Jazz as Steven Adams picks up an eighth rebound of the game. He passes Noel. Shooting fouls on Gobert, his third personal foul. That's their 15th foul for the Utah Jazz. At Ooh, a devastation for for Utah fans to come here and uh, and support for Utah. This was happened already. Now they're putting too much weight for uh, for uh, Noel as they got knocked it out right away. Noel will take two shots. What do you call that bear on the right side? Do you know that? Noel hits the first free throw. Here's a different look for Utah as Clarkson and Ingles are subbed out. And we have Donovan Mitchell and O'Neal checked in. Finally still in the point guard position. Noel will shoot one. He hits two free throws and Noel has five points on the board. Conley against Paul, we just gone out here four quarters ago. Right, ooh, the floater. Great pass by Conley and the shot for O'Neal is good. Time out called by OKC. I'm going to have to make some new suggestions and then I'll be back. All right, just subbed out the Gorgeous Alexander, and Dort is checked in. Here's David. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Bill and Donovan said to his team. He likes where things are headed, but he cautioned them to play smart the rest of the way. He said carelessness with the ball, with assignments, with rotations, any of that can undo what we've worked to accomplish so far. Kevin, they are so close. Having a shaky time from the floor, but it's shaking the time on the floor. But that being said, it was hard to put up on the list. Dort finds ball to Adams. Paul for three. A miss again for OKC Funders to find Paul to connect the three. He passes up to Mitchell, rolling up is Conley. Finds Gobert, back to Mitchell. I lost a dunk here, oh no! This is not good. 
Adams, Adams the door. The door. He blocked the pass here, but recovered by door. This is it to Noel. Recovered again. Over Mitchell. Over Mitchell. And Chris, and Chris Paul will deliver another two-pointer as he has now He's got his sixth assist nine points. Trail by ten. Jazz trailing by ten. Conley outside pulling in the three-pointer. Oh, he went back out. Mitchell outside. Under three minutes. Door, deflect the pass, and this one was keeping out of nowhere. Chris Paul puts up a good pointer, and he has it again. Jazz will call another timeout. Just 2.45 left, and uh, I don't have any suggestions for this time. But anyways, for game, def for game planning, I'm just going to go ahead and just go back with two to three. Three to two zone. And make sure it's all good. A different result. But you can't expect but what any players have another research about what time you had. Bear is the mascot for the Utah Jazz. Looking pretty excited that time. He's doing alright. Fans really love the City Corp. I think the City Corp was definitely better. What what, what do we know if we would swap out the other court? Uh, back in the regular season, it might be happening again. Jordan player of the game is going to Nerlens Noel. As Nerlens Noel, he has five points, seven point seven, and are not a bunch of assists to pour out. So with that, that's how you feel when you get there back that time. Donovan Mitchell with a three with an upsetting run. York Noel again. Shots good, but Donovich with the foul, and only six to six has made for Noel. Woo! Good, good side bump here that time for Noel. Donovich not looking too, uh, not looking happier than I thought, but Stephen Adams has gone out from the court, and Noel is switched off into the center. Alinari, he's checked in for Adams. One shot for Noel. So we only see uh, some couple players had some. Uh, Amazing Jordan player of the game. But right now, Noel has, uh, has finally got a Jordan player of the game. 2.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. And now it's here's Conley on the, on the ball. Conley to find Gobert. Mitchell. Oh! Good stop for Noel. Nice D. No foul on Noel, but that still keeps OKC, I'm sorry, uh, Utah Jazz's ball alive. O'Neal trying to look for it. Finds the pass. Mitchell will take the two and assist by O'Neal. Oklahoma City leading by 13. OKC leading by 13. Here's Paul. He passes the door. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Gallinari outside. Gallinari with the shot. A and a rebound for O'Neal. Let's check it out of here as Gallinari missed it. O'Neal with it. Mitchell, Mitchell outside. Carter by Gorgix Alexander. Back to O'Neal. Launches it. He missed it, and the fighting rebound continues by OKC, leaving it out below. Gilgorich Alexander, great shot, and contested up to get uh, to get out of the way by Mitchell. A decisive lane, and they're just pulling out way too soon. You know, a team can have a great shooting night. Conley against Paul, just 123 left. Yeah, listen, Conley trying to look for it, and there is a point for Conley. Yep, make him score that time. We don't want any players to get out of the, to get off the line. 11 points for Conley. Victories for them on the year. And you know, looking back at all the kind of Noel finds Gilgorius Alexander. Phenomenal. Pass to Paul. He came out and let everyone know that points would be hard. Deflected. Thunder's ball is still there. OKC Thunders are making some changes. Noel is subbed out. Adams is checked back in. And for the Jets. Gobert is back in that time. 
with the ball, and he did that. The pass is too late, and that calls a five-second violation. They're expecting to go down one minute left. Utah is getting some tough luck from three-point range. Mitchell. Quarter, they hit just one of six from deep. Gotta hold the tight here. Oh, here's Mitchell. Here's O'Neal over three. It's good for, it's good for a long range. And O'Neal on the number one. From deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this. Adams rolling it in, trying to get out of here. Better job of creating space. Back to Paul. Adams, back to Ball. Paul to Adams. Here's over Gobert. Gobert. The Thunder with a number miss. With another miss. It's a shot you would think he would make. Billy Donovan trying to help him out. Six Conley for three. Not a miss. Like 20 seconds. He leads this team in rebounds tonight. Controlling the glass helps to maximize the out. number of possessions. He's done ah. everything he can do to help them in that area. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Gordis Alexander will, will take that time. And the game is over. OKC Funders with a lead of series, 2-1, to 65-55. to 55. Yeah, game three wasn't that better to get there, to get there at that time. Well, only one win in game one. You have to feel but lost in game two and game three. They'll be back in game four once they still stay in in Utah. Here's David Aldridge on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Chris, big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? Yeah, I don't know. You know it was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fared off of it. Guys made open shots, but I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you guys for tuning in. And for the NBA playoffs, we'll get some more things done. He at home playing against the Magic in Florida showdown. Then the LA showdown as the Lakers have their own court. And then we'll see some more, including the uh, Pacers home against Sixers. And finally, Dallas Mavericks at Memphis. For most of the open saying this, this was happening the first time ever. And thank you so much for one player that we always trust is Sarah Gogordrix Alexander and Gallant and Danilo Gallinari. We really appreciate your support of OKC funders. Once you know each team, they'll probably say welcome back, Gallinari and Shay Gogordrix Alexander from the Clippers. This is happening in the last game that time. Anyways. We'd like to say thank you so much for uh, watching. As until next time, peace out, bitches. Until now for another NBA playoff dial. See you next time. Bye-bye.